Well, we've never done this before. Never. <laughs> wow. I, I know this, and I want DeMarco to tell you, because you've probably seen those highlights about 100 times, and what do you think every time you see it? Every, I think we're going to lose every time I see that. <laughs> <laughs> every single time I start to perspire. Um, just an awesome feeling. Um, that picture of me pointing at my hat, that, that's more than us. That's more than the Rams. That's about St. Louis. You know, one mm -hmm. of the things that really got under my skin was Dana Stubblefield and that same old sorry blank Rams thing. Um, that hurt. That drove us. That was great. That was for all mm -hmm. of St. Louis. When uh, <laughs> let, let me make this quick point. Ron mentioned that he won a championship at UW, won a championship in the NFL. DeMarco also won a high school championship. There were a couple of guys on that team. Grant Wistrom was mm -hmm. one. Not many people get that opportunity to win a high school championship in their state, national college football championship, and a Super Bowl. Uh, you know, I've been pretty lucky to be on some, some really good football teams. Um, you know, going to Washington, that, that collection of, of athletes, uh, that head coach, Don James, we just lost him uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, special moment in time, but the greatest show on turf, that 99 team, there'll never be anything else like that in my life. It was a special moment in time. I'm talking about everybody on that roster was pointed in the same direction. Mm -hmm. Everybody on that roster wanted nothing but rings, nothing but championships, and it was just so special. When the Rams were about to leave L.A. to come to St. Louis, and you heard on that April day that the Rams were moving to St. Louis, what did you know about your new town? <laughs> I knew there was an arch. <laughs> um, I heard Fred Sanford talk about it. I didn't know much about it. I had no idea. I didn't. I had no idea uh, about St. Louis or where we were going. Um, but day one, I mean, I remember seeing the trucks pull in. Do you remember that day? Yep. Uh, seeing our Rams trucks pull in. I can see this from L.A. And there was a ticker tape parade. And they were so excited to have the Rams here, our football team there. And I just, do you guys know we only won four games? We're not mm -hmm. very good, but <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was night and day. It was complete night and day. I mean, there was so, so much indifference to us in Los Angeles than to come here. It's the exact opposite. So, I mean, the only thing we could do, the only thing that drove us was to prove everybody wrong mm -hmm. and to prove everybody out there right by bringing a Super Bowl here. And one thing I know is that uh, this is a love affair that you have with this city. When we were about to start 101 ESPN, I called DeMarco. He was driving down what highway in L.A.? 405. Stuck in traffic. And I said, <laughs> DeMarco, we're starting a sports station here in St. Louis. How would you like to come here and do the afternoons with me? And he said, I can't wait to get back to St. Louis. You, you always loved St. Louis. I hated to leave. I really did. Um, I, I, not to toot my own horn. I'm glad my daughter's here. Where is she? Trent, wave your hand. Hi, Trent. My wife. Um, Hi, Suze. The coolest thing for me sitting here with you right now is for her to see those highlights because she never got to see me play. She was too young. So that's really cool. I told you I was good. See, they didn't believe me. Um, <laughs> but just, you know, just the feeling we had here. I mean, just every nook and cranny of this place, just it's home. Uh, it's, it's not foreign to me. Um, you know, every time I leave and then come back and I fly over the city when you're about to land at Lambert. I just look down and I just get this happy feeling. It's almost, I get emotional about it. And it's not just because of what you saw there. It's just about living here, being here, just being a part of the community. It's, it's home, like I said. And this is really special for me. And uh, nobody was more thrilled to have him come back than me because he's kind of my protection. Oh, whatever. Bad at me. <laughs> but we have been on the air 20 hours a week for five years now, and we've never had an argument. No. <laughs> and uh, I, I spend much more time talking to DeMarco Farr than I do talking to my wife. So uh, it's a real honor to welcome DeMarco Farr into the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. <laughs>